Chairman, distinguished delegates, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to congratulate the government and people of Brazil for hosting the third global conference on child labor. I wish also to thank the ILO for the support in the organization of this conference. Mr. Chairman, Ghana was the first country to ratify the United Nations Convention on the Right of the Child in 1989, which came into force in 1990. Since then, Ghana has ratified other international conventions as ILO Convention 182 and 138. Ghana has domesticated some of the international conventions in our national documents, the 1992 Constitution, the, Cri the Children's Act, the Human Trafficking Act, and Domestic Violence Act, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are doing now is that in an effort to combat child labor in Ghana, we have developed a national plan of action that has outlined the detailed activities geared towards elimination of child labor in the various sectors. Under the National Plan of Action, Ghana is working on the following nine prioritized areas to fight the menace of child labor. Agri, including cocoa farming fishing, mining and quarrying, child trafficking, among others. The strategic areas of intervention in these prioritized sectors are enforcement of laws, broad-based sensitization and mobilization to promote attitudinal and behavioral change, pursuit of free, compulsory universal basic education, and improvement in access to post-basic education in vocational and technical training, direct support for affected children and families, livelihood empowerment to families and communities, improving labor technology and labor, labor market information system, institutional and technical capacity building, and enhancement of knowledge and database on the worst forms of child labor. To assist government to implement the MPA, memoranda of understanding have been signed between 36 lead institutions and civil society organizations. From 2010 to date, we can boast of a number of achievements which are as follows. Under the national program for, for the elimination of waste form of child labor in Coco, two surveys have been conducted to ascertain the extent of the and nature of child labor situation in the cocoa sector. As a cocoa producing country, Ghana has developed a comprehensive hazardous child labor activity framework to cover cocoa and all other sectors. The MPA has been mainstreamed into the Ghana shared growth and development agenda. A national social mobilization strategy has been developed. A standard operating procedure manual has been developed for dealing with all types of the worst form of child labor. A labor force survey is in progress to update the Ghana Child Labor Survey. The Ghana Child Labor Monitoring System for the selection of vulnerable children for support has been successfully piloted. The way forward. At a meeting of Economic, Com uh, Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS in Ghana in May 2013, Ghana volunteered to be peer reviewed by fellow West African countries. Greater involvement of the social partners Metropolitan, municipal, and district assemblies, district protection committees, chiefs, and traditional leaders, as well as opinion leaders in the campaign and fight against child labor, the continued use of Ghana child labor monitoring systems to track progress, incorporating child labor issues into Ghana medium term development plan and national budget, and strategizing to sustain the gains made so far in the various sectors of child labor, especially cocoa, fishing, and mining and quarrying. Mr. Chairman, provision of more sustainable additional livelihood schemes for families of vulnerable children. Ghana has come a long way in the fight against child labor, but then it has been very challenging. It is hoped that with support, cooperation, and collaboration from our donor partners and relevant stakeholders, both internally and internationally, we shall achieve greater success in the fight to eliminate child labor and give our children a brighter future. I wish to um, I wish the conference a very successful deliberation. Thank you very much.
Muito obrigado. Convidamos nesse instante.